Shalom Aleichem. It's a bit rainy outside, but uh, so I hope in general that there's not too much noise of the holy drops of water that are dripping on the roof of my wonderful car. Wanted to share with you a little thought I had because of that wonderful reason that the predators and the birds of prey are always aiming to hunt, attack and destroy the sweetness of the greatest fruits and for that reason I decided to share with you a little fact about our holy sages so there are many many empty people with empty assumptions based on false structures of false theories that are based on great manipulation and toxic opinion against the Jewish people and against the source of holiness and the um, and the source of faith in the world and many of those people who are talking against and bashing and attacking the wisdom of our people are attacking us in places that they think or assume that might be useful so Less people are attacking the Bible, the Torah that was given by Moshe from Sinai. Less. I'm not saying none. But less than the ones that are allowing themselves to fill their mouths with filth, disgrace and shame. And talk about the holy sages and claim that the oral Torah that we have received is not the highest and not from Hashem and God forbid to continue with those nonsense and even describing their mistake so therefore I thought to myself that the most proper thing will be to share drops a little bit of information about the holy sages about the wonderful ones that built designed shaped and stabilized our faith and the world's faith some stories from their personal lives that will shade some beautiful light on their true characters and true holiness of their wonderful wonderful actions that brought life to the whole world so I will start with an amazing story I read yesterday in a midrash that is called um, Midrash Matat on the angel that is called Matat and in that Midrash it's written about a righteous man named Rabbi Yishmael and Rabbi Yishmael was a Kohen Rabbi Yishmael Kohen Gadol he was a great servant in the temple of Hashem he was the main and greatest student of Nechunia ben Hakana Nechunia ben Hakana was the sage that was um, teaching in the temple of Hashem the holy sages as Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Yonatan ben Uziel, Rabbi Ishmael Kohen Gadol and more how to aim the heart with the right names of our maker to visit the holy chambers and skies of Hashem to see the face of Hashem and to see the holy chariot in its greatness and glory his main student was Rabbi Ishmael Kohen Gadol and Rabbi Ishmael Kohen Gadol told once that when he went up to see the holy chariot to see that great vision a holy sight of the throne of honor of Hashem of our maker then he 
heard a complaint about the fact that a human being was able to climb up to the sky. A claim that is sourced in the envious of the angels. Angels, they have a problem with people. They're not happy that human beings that are flesh and bones find themselves walking in the high hierarchies of heaven and changing things and that their prayers are being answered and they're so important in the eyes of Hashem. So Rabbi Ishmael said that when he was there, he heard a complaint on the fact that he came to visit, an earthen person came to visit the holy heavenly land of above and over there they complained who is he and what is his nature what is he doing here from which nation he's coming so when that question was asked so matat the angel matat came to protect him and said i was sent to bring him over he is from the nation of israel from the tribe of levi and uh, he is the one that uh, Hashem chose for him to serve in the temple of Hashem and to be a great servant, Kohen Gadol. Immediately the angels stepped back and told him, Praise, praised worthy you are and praised are your parents that brought you to that place that the Creator will choose you to bring you to his place and to have the merit to see him in his greatness and royal garments. Rabbi Shemael Kohen Gadol, after felt that gratitude to the angel Matat that protected him, asked the angel Matat, who are you? So the angel Matat answered him, I am the angel Matat, the minister of the face of Hashem, I am the angel that is appointed to teach the Torah to the world. I received 70 names of the names of Hashem and in those names I'm being called. But Hashem himself is calling me a kid. Kid. A little boy. So Rabbi Ishmael asked him, and why if you're so great, you are still being called a kid? So he said, because when I came here in the first time, I was Chanoch ben Yared. Chanoch, the son of Yared. And when I came here, the angels attacked me as they attacked you. And they did not want to accept me as they fought against you. But Hashem came out to my protection and told them that I was the chosen one to serve him in his hall, in his ancient archives, in the holy place of above, to run the wonderful systems of heaven. And because that I was appointed to that great position, but while I was appointed for that position, I was still a human being among angels so even though that I am being called in 70 names that the Creator gave me I am still being called a kid because that I am still the smallest one of them all for me being a regular human being walking here among the greatest angels fearing made of fire flaming holy servants of Hashem. This is one story just to let you taste a little bit on the greatest, greatest sages, on their greatness, on their holiness, on their great achievements, on their glory and on the great power that they received by our Maker for them to be our protectors and defenders forever and evermore. Blessings.